As far as Tony, before he got sick, he was completely healthy. He's friendly. Tony, good to see you, buddy. See you too, mate. People are just drawn to him. What movie are you going to be in? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be on that next Neckies in the Fridge. <laughs> he has a charismatic personality, um, and he's just an overall great guy. I'm going to say it was in around April to May of uh, 2011 when the first symptoms, I'll call them now, that I know they were symptoms, of the scleroderma hit me. You wake up, you're a little stiff in your back, you're a little stiff in your legs, but the stiffness just seemed to get a little worse every day. By the time we realized what was going on, you could literally touch a line on his arm and it would be like concrete. You're just hard as, you're hard as a rock everywhere. I mean, you're drawn up in a knot, and you're just hard as rock everywhere. You could have walked up to me with your pocket knife, stuck me in the arm, never got a drop of blood. It started at his toes and his fingers, and it started slowly constricting his entire body. It's like having an anaconda, baby anaconda, growing inside of you that grows just a little bit every day, and he just keeps squeezing on you every day. Only thing you can say about that is that it's a homeless person that looks like he's fixing to die. Mm -hmm. That just hurts me to look at it now. Yeah. They told me I had systemic scleroderma. They treated me for 10 days. And the day I checked out of the hospital on my release papers under prognosis, it said, unfortunate. I asked the doctor, you know, unfortunate, what does this mean? What he told me, and there wasn't no cure for it. And uh, that basically I had 120 days left. So I came home and all the things that I was doing last year, was going to be gone. Besides me, I was going to be gone. I basically prayed that he would live or that he would go on and pass quickly without any more um, struggles. He was in terrible pain. And uh, after we got through the initial shock of that for a few days, I guess, my fiance, Missy, she said, we're not stopping here. She said, there's got to be a, there's got to be an answer somewhere. When he received the adult stem cell transplant, the day after, I have it videoed on my phone. Literally, we felt like he could move his hands slightly better. One day on stem cell, after the stem cell transplant. It was pretty immediate that we started to see results. You know, every, every day was like you just had, was getting a new shot of life in your arm every day. Dear Lord, thank you for this food and thank you for the miracles that you've given to us. And as of today, Tony has his health back again. I am a, I'm a walking miracle. I'm lucky to be here, you know. It's just, it, it's just a way that God lined up things for me. But things that he could do before, we just wanted to him, him to have his independence back. If I'm working with my guys, if they need me out there to work, run a machine for them to make the day better, I'll run the backhoe, trackhoe, drive a dump truck, asphalt roller, whatever I need to do. We are very thankful for every day that we have, and we feel like with the adult stem cell therapies, this is just life-changing for so many people. Well, anybody that would ask me about adult stem cell transplant, the first thing I would tell them is, this is the future of medicine. This is the future. My name is Tony Underhill and adult stem cells saved my life.